Good morning, Trinidad and Tobago, and welcome to the Bosch Report. Well, today there's lots to talk about, including the first quarter results of banking giants or local banking giants, Republic Financial Holdings Limited and First. But before we get to those results, let's take a quick look at some other market developments over the course of the week. Now, in terms of announced dividends, First Citizens would have announced a dividend of around 44 cents per share, and this is an interim dividend. And the stock actually goes ex dip today, and that dividend is going to be paid towards the end of the month, that's the 20th of February. NCBFG would have also announced dividends, and that stock begins trading ex dip on the 12th of February. Uh, it's Jamaican $1 per share, and that's going to be paid in early March, March 2nd. And LJ Williams would have also uh, announced certain dividends for its A and B shares, which will be paid in, on March 27th. That's 0 0.006 cents per share for the A shares and 6 cents per, sh per share for the B shares. Now, Sajiko shareholders who would have started receiving their cash payments would have also recently started receiving their DRS or direct registration system statements uh, over the course of the past few days. So if it is the case that you are ready to deposit those shares, uh, so that they are eligible for trading. You can check Boss or any other broker, um, but certainly look, be on the lookout in your mail for those who would have um, elected to receive shares uh, for your DRS statement. And very exciting news for TTNGL, uh, which owns a 39% stake in Phoenix Park Gas Processors Limited or PPGPL, and PPGPL would have announced the acquisition of Twin Eagles Liquids Marketing LLC a company based in Houston, and that company is responsible for, is engaged in rather, the transportation, marketing, and distribution of natural gas liquids, or NGL. So certainly an announcement that's been in line with the strategy that's been, uh, with, that's been uh, explained by TTNGL, or rather PPGPL's leadership, and that's certainly uh, some positive news for investors looking ahead. As more information becomes available, of course, BOSS will keep you informed in that. Turning to Republic Financial Holdings, and for their first quarter, the group reported uh, earnings per share of just around $2.29 per share, which is a 6% increase from the $2.16 recorded in the prior comparable period. Now, net interest income was up just around 12.6% from $895 to just over a billion dollars in that first quarter. And profit before taxes overall were up just around 12% from 529 to 593 million, with uh, those profits attributable to equity holders, uh, that is RFHL shareholders, up just around 6.7 percent from 350 to 374 million. Now, in terms of operating income growth, we see nice steady upward um, trends in terms of the operating income. Uh, in terms of net interest income, we see that 12.6 percent growth in that red column, and a 21.7 percent growth in other income from 391 to 476 million, uh, driving a 15.4 percent growth overall in from quarter 21, tw quarter one 2019 to quarter one 2020. Now that has been impacted by some of the acquisitions over the course of the past year, and we can see that also being reflected in the geographical composition of profit before taxes for the group. The notable changes that Eastern Caribbean portion would have increased from 29.9 million in profit before taxes to 75.2. And that's on account of the Eastern Caribbean acquisition of several of Scotia's um, uh, franchises up the islands, as well as the acquisition of Cayman National Corporation, which would have driven first quarter profit before taxes from 24.8 million in 2019 to Q1 2020 profits of just around 63.6 million. Now, it's not all good news all around Trinidad and Tobago. We did have some marginal decline in profit before taxes, attributable to generally weaker operating conditions and economic conditions, uh, with profit before taxes falling from 316.8 to 301 million, as well as Barbados, which fell from 49.5 to 37.9. Notably, Guyana also grew organically from 53.6 million to just around 60.7 million. So certainly, that strategy of geographic diversification seems to be paying off for Republic Financial and, by extension, shareholders. So at a price of $142, uh, the stock trades at a price earnings multiple of 14.4 times, which is still below the banking sector average of 15.7 times, and offers investors a dividend yield of 3.2%, which is below that average uh, for the banking sector of 3.8%. So on the basis of attractive valuations, continued profit growth, the acquisition activity, and increasing geographic diversification, BOSS maintains a buy rating on Republic Financial, or RFHL. Turning quickly to first, uh, for the first quarter, uh, the group reported an earnings per share of 89 cents, 
which is a 4.7% increase from the 85 cents recorded in Q1 of 2019. Net interest income was up quite a tidy 7.5% from 399 to 430 odd million. And total net income was also up just around 8.2% from 572 to just about 620 million. Overall operating profits were up just around 2.7% from 306 to 315 million. And profit after taxes were up 300 or 3.8 percent rather from 214 million to 222 million now in terms of profit before taxes again a nice upward trend for first and we can see that retail and corporate banking continues to be the major business segment uh, which contributes to profit before taxes and that recorded growth quarter on quarter of just around four and a half percent treasury and investment banking was up just around 1.3 percent in that orange color from 84 to 85.1 and trustee and asset management business recorded uh, 17 or almost 18 percent growth in profit before taxes quarter and quarter from 21.1 to 24.9 million all of it is the smallest contributor to overall growth now one of the themes of investing for investors in first has been of course in addition to share price growth that very healthy dividend one point to note is that first does have a fairly high payout ratio it's around 58.3 percent which is slightly above that sector average of 55.5 percent uh, and in comparison to republics which is 45.5 uh, percent so at a price of 50 dollars and 91 cents which is i think an all-time high for the stock um, the, the, the stock of first trades at a price earnings multiple of 16.9 times, which is above the sector average of 15.7 times. And the dividend yield is also below the banking sector average at 3.5% compared to that sector average of 3.8%. So on the basis of fair valuations and a relatively subdued economic environment in its major operating jurisdictions, BOSS maintains a neutral rating on first. Well, that's it for this week's edition. For more information, you can give us a call at 226-8773 or 2BOSS. Check out our website at bossinvestment.com or email us at invest at bossfinancial.com. Have yourselves a great investing week. This has been The Boss Report.